Hi there and welcome to this uh, walk through Norwich and Norwich Cathedral. Hope you enjoy it. Norwich is the regional administrative centre for East Anglia and county town of Norfolk. During the 11th century, Norwich was the largest city in England after London and one of the most important places in the kingdom. That was until the Industrial Revolution. Norwich was the capital of the most populous county in England. Norwich stands alone. Its geographical separation from the spreading sameness of other English cities has infused it with a rich character all of its own. An, invig an invigorating mix of past and present of openness and real offbeat charm. It's a city where unrivaled collections of heritage landmarks spanning 1,000 years of history all blends in lovely with a striking 21st century architecture. It's a city alive with an inclusive atmosphere, compact enough to make you feel at home in days, but with enough sights, local delights and cultural vibrancy to entertain you for weeks. <laughs> Norwich is the most complete medieval city in Britain. It's also one of the top five places to shop. Are you listening, ladies? Such contrasting boasts show a rare dull blend of historic interest and modern sophistication. Explore the intricate network of winding streets and over 1,500 historic buildings. All from the splendour of the Norman Cathedral and Castle down to the charming Elm Hill with its timber-framed houses. Museums, galleries, theatres, concerts, cinema... A buzzing nightlife and a year-round programme of festivals, celebrating everything from music and literature to food and beer. Well, it had to be beer. And they combine to offer vibrant and dynamic entertainment and give the city a truly cos cosmopolitan feel. And then, of course, there is the cathedral. Norwich is the capital of Norfolk was once second only to London in importance, grown out of several small Saxon settlements at the lowest fording point along the river Wensum. Before the Norman conquest of 1066, Norwich was one of the largest towns in England. The conquerors built a castle and a cathedral, and established a new marketplace which is still in use today, and this is the cathedral. It's awesome, really. It's one of those it defies description. You could spend two weeks there just in the cathedral and round about and still not catch it all. Yeah, it's just so big. Now that's uh, Admiral Lord Nelson. The guy at the other end was uh, him at the Battle of Waterloo with the Wellington boots on. <laughs> and this is the Jubilee Labyrinth right in the middle in the, the grassed area of the cathedral and it's a huge area surrounded by the cathedral and it's a pilgrim's walk it replicates a pilgrim's walk so you can walk from here to I don't know Timbuktu and back again and it only takes you about 10 minutes <laughs> that's what it says on the notice anyway <laughs> something like that but just look at the architecture. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I know it's a, a, a very misused word, but what else could you use? It's awesome. And when the bells clang and cling. You stand and listen. Well, that's noon or 12 o'clock, depending how you want to look at it. And look at these walks undercover. And yet every ceiling is, is immaculate and carved stone. And, oh, it sort of defies description. It's a bit like when you go to York Minster or Westminster Abbey. Uh, you, you sort of get stuck for words. You use all your superlatives up on any one of them. 
And then there's the slabs on the floor where people are buried in the belief that nearer my God to thee am I if I'm buried right under your feet, sunshine. Look at that ceiling. Never, never mind the stained glass. You wouldn't want to be up there on a ladder trying to dust it, would you? <laughs> and the length of it, well, I'm zooming in and that's, that's a by 10 zoom. And that's just on the organ pipes. Look how they're, they're illuminated. Lovely. I say you could spend a week just visiting the Abbey, at the, the cathedral, sorry, not Abbey, the cathedral every day, and you still wouldn't see it all. There'd be bits you hadn't seen, some carvings, some stones in the walls. Oh, good Lord, everything. <laughs> Anyway, that's your lot. We're running out of time. As I said, it's only a small section. You could do hours and hours, but nobody would sit and watch it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh dear, outside, never mind.